Asante. Thank you very much. Very delighted to be here. Uh, people power, our power, we are very glad to be in Soroti today in the heart of Teso, sub region. We are delighted for all of you who are listening in. Thanks so much. And also, still in the studios, I have Mama. Yes, welcome to Kyoga Veritas. <laughs> Say hello to a couple of Teso. Teso, Yoga Kere! My name is Lena, Mama Lena Zedriga, Deputy President, Northern Uganda. I'm excited to be here in Teso, in Soroti. Thank you. Eyalama. Eyalama Noi, Toto Linda. And also, Atomato Go, Ajayama Kedipe Jokiche. Yes. Karibuni. Yoga Noi, Teken Kere. Eyalama Nga Teken Kupo Kinga Kere. Kati Lora Nyere, Tese Mokwa Regiona, Sari Kodne, Tano Tete, Sub Region, Le Tati La NUP. I am doing a manager of Mekuma, but boy, your son, you come on my team with one radio canteen who take the president one me part of menu, Ninga or Quarry Jonathan. To Tin Amido, get to eat women who come present our Yamutina Poisana. A Poisana, uh, Jacket, a Quarry, a Jonathan, and of course, the main man himself. Uh, thanks so much for coming through and welcome to the operators. At this moment, I want to allow you to say hello to the group of people who are this. Thank you very much for having us. My name is Chagulanyi Sentamu, a.k.a. Bobby Wine, a.k.a. Lakona. I'm very glad to be here in Soroti and uh, by large Teso uh, sub-region. I hope we have a good time and looking forward to meeting the masses in a few from now. I think so much, Honorable uh, uh, Robert Chagulanyi, for making it a point to get to Teso and also um, without wasting much time, I want to uh, give you now the platform to talk to people of Ateso that are actually waiting for you. We'll be telling them that you're going to come through by actually 11 o'clock, to fail uh, 1 o'clock, to fail uh, even right now. We still are contemplating whether you're going to make it or not, but uh, finally you're here. Welcome to uh, Teso, and maybe if you could uh, take a through, why are you here in Teso tonight? Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, unfortunately we are late, but better late than never. Um, what our listeners don't know is that the police and military blocked all roads. We used only industrial roads to get here, and that's the reason why we are late. But like I said, never uh, better late than never. Mm. We are here in Soroti. I'm not here alone. I'm here with the leaders, our leaders in uh, Teso sub-region. Um, our Deputy President in charge of Northern Uganda Secretary General, Mobilization Secretary, and other leaders. We are here not just to celebrate, not just to visit the people of Teso, but we are carrying a message, a message of hope, a message of change, a message of transformation, a message of not giving up. The yeah. people of Teso have been subjugated for so long. Some of those, especially the young ones that were born in this operation, they think it is normal. They think it is okay, like they say, a bird that was born in a cage thinks flying is abnormal. So the young people of Teso think it is okay to be poor. They think it's okay not to have rights. They think it's okay not to be represented. Many of them have not seen the days of glory here in Teso before their cattle were stolen and promised to be uh, you know, compensated but not compensated. Many of the young people don't know that this region was a masterpiece in cotton production. Many of them have grown up only on the fantasy that there will be a processing a plant for their fruits, especially oranges. So we are here to reassert that hope, to remind them that it is not a dream. It's possible and it's going to happen, but it's not going to come as a miracle. You are going to have to be part of it. We've come here to restore that hope. And uh, in the few minutes that we're here, I hope to share that and more in detail with my colleagues that are with us here today. I just have quite uh, a lot of issues in just, uh, just a quick kind of um, a discussion. And uh, one of the pressing issues that uh, Tesla as a region has been actually going through was actually uh, the money, the fiscal issue of the cattle compensation. Um, I'm told actually from, uh, I think, about uh, 20 years ago, yeah. Uh, the ruling party right now is actually promising people to, so to uh, compensate them, but uh, nothing has been done. And also, you touched the issue of poverty. Poverty is actually a fighting thing right now in the region. And um, I don't know 
with uh, your leadership, what are the major issues that um, uh, NUP is going to tackle uh, besides the issue of compensation and poverty if given the vote from Teso? Well, there are many things, but since we're in Teso, I'd rather focus on the challenges of Teso sub region. Yes. Um, you have mentioned it more than 25 years ago. It has always been promise after promise after promise. But I want to remind the people of Teso that the day Vasai Jabalaba wanted compensation, he got it in billions. The day Vitature wanted compensation, got it in billions. The day an Indian investor wants compensation, they get it in a matter of days. So the people of Teso just don't matter to the powers that be. They don't matter to General Museveni. He prefers actually to keep them poor because poor people are very easy to manage. Yeah. He will use a few of his people. He will pick an Anita Mongo or Mukula there, give them billions, make sure he controls uh, the common people. He does exactly like the colonialists did. They come, they pick one big person among you, they fatten them, make them rich, and then they use them to subjugate you. So we want to empower the people, the masses in Teso by be beginning with empowering their ability to hold leaders accountable once their vote matters and those leaders know that if they don't deliver to their promises people can vote them out then that will be a game over that's why we came initially and even up to now with the theme of people power is our power we want to empower them make their voice count and make their dreams valid okay uh, during our discussion today, we always have a, 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 a discussion on radio that's going to to the media. And one of the callers actually raised a very pertinent issue that I feel like it's really good to your attention. You said this is now the electoral calendar to the region or the overall other movement, different kind of regions are looking for support. But most times, after giving the support, they don't just kind of feel what they are going to do. And what, what this kind of tell people. And they are saying that. Um, all politicians, all political parties know what the region has been going to do. Talk about the issue of poverty, talk about the issue of compensation and so forth. And they feel that um, most political parties are using that as actually uh, to get a sympathy vote from the people of Teso. Away from that, what is your agenda for the people of Teso? Put aside the issue of uh, the capital compensation and uh, also the poverty. What is your agenda for the people of Teso? Thank you. For starters, we are not here for election year. You remember that even during the 2021 campaigns, we were not allowed to interact with the people of Teso. It was a part of tear gas and bullets. Well, even uh, while other political parties and uh, groupings are allowed to meet the people, we don't meet them because our message is radical and straight to the point and it is awakening. So we are not here just to look for votes. We are here to awaken the people in order to make a possibility of change even before elections, because we believe that dictators can be kicked out before, during, and after elections. Yeah. So, get me clearly, we are not only here for electioneering, we are here for awakening, because we are not sure for how long we are going to be able to reach the people. We are here because the people persisted. Like I said, they pushed us in the periphery, uh, dusty roads, but people uh, defied and joined us to show solidarity. So it continues and it will continue that way. What is our agenda for the people of Teso? I would say, first, by large, the people of Uganda, we want emancipation and liberation for the people of Uganda. All of Uganda, not just Teso, not just Lao, not just Acholi, not just uh, Uganda, of Soga, of Gishu, but all of Uganda. The problems of Teso are similar to the problems of Uganda, to the problems of Busoga, to the problems of uh, Lango. They might just change a little bit in particulars, but generally they are the same. It is subjugation, it is enslavement on their own land. I'll give you a simple comparison. In northern Uganda, many parts of northern Uganda and actually land, yeah. they were great tobacco farmers. Yeah. But when General Museveni came in and saw money there, they owned it up to ensure that they are the ones that are controlling it. Not only that, go to Busoga. Sugar cane was their masterpiece. It was their bread and butter. General Museveni and his henchmen took it over to the extent that no Musoga today has the power over their sugar cane. A kilo of sugar used to buy 3,500 
but a ton of sugarcane was at between 250 to 300,000 shillings. Not anymore. Today, a kilo of sugar is 5,000, but a ton of sugarcane is 50,000 shillings. Why? Because the, the profits have to actually go to one family, Museveni's family. You can name all those, name uh, gold, I mean gold, whether it's in Karamoja or in Buganda or in Busia. Mm -hmm. It belongs to Museveni's family. Every mine. Now we are in, 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 in Teso and uh, in particular in Soroti. People used to be great cotton growers, but that is how it was destroyed. So we want to revamp the things that used to empower our people economically. It is not a dream. We are not reinventing the wheel. These things have happened before, and we just need to go back and pick where did these people destroy these things and how and why. We want to start by investigating those that grabbed that economy from the people of Teso. First, give it back to the people of Teso, but also make sure that those thieves pay for that. And also, over time, many things have come, I mean, I've not mentioned the, 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 the flying school, which used to be the pride of Soroti. How does it look today? Look at the healthcare system. Is your healthcare system satisfactory? Are your health centers stocked with medicines? Look at your schools. Look at the infrastructure. Where we passed, <laughs> I don't know what is in General Museveni said because they blocked us from using the main roads and pushed us to the destroyed roads as if they want us to see them and see what we have to begin with. So we want to revamp the infrastructure of this region. This region can be a game in this country. The people of Teso are so hardworking, so enterprising, so you know, smart in their business achievement, only if they are empowered by the powers, by the administration of the country, they will prosper. That is the exact agenda that we have for the people of Tesla. Okay. Thanks so much. Yeah. It's exactly about the Kana Tomana Let me give you a jacket uh it's just to translate what uh what the president Yes, I don't know how to care in a park in a joke on a limit. I don't know. So I present work. You were to be a lacunan. You want to be a simple lacuna or teso. But on my crony general, it is a little bit on it on my balanat. It is a chaka gangesi. There is a crony nera. Crony I such a la kituk. Around a kosho. A girl on a coli polo nashoda. In a rainer bay. You never check it. You never check it. You know. So never came here. But I guess they. Aja ikona vuti, ara aja ika amani za puga na kipo na pepe na ngara kwenye baadhi tesa nyumbi, awa kwa kaka kitu kuu itacho. Nenda nenda kwenye kamera ra, bara na ti, oko esemero la flying school, bara na tano teso, wanyo ni jobe imame ti teso, lepo la toma, lepo la domu na shoma na toma, utupite dija utene, ara domu na kwa baadhi teso. Nenda nenda si, awa kwa dija utene baadhi teso, bara ni teso, dija iko libo rolo dijari, ni teso, le dumu rolo ni kapun, lo hapa rolo tu kwa ni. Epo titu nebaka ebolo tola ilo guato la nanaki na jebu kumdulu kubabi kwa nijia kani. Kune bala kwa lite sija aso ni keda kituku. Uwa nyuni jobe. Ija hito keda kuna kituku ichiri ya kile jerika ni niyari. Kwa ya se guo lai na nipi lao. Mawu jino se guo. Kune kwa lade marone po geta wako la kituku wa kile ni jataroni. Ake kono uwe apata ni kidoku wa ni kwa iteke roni. Irani uwe serani uwe sa ituku wa moto kani. Narai. Na ele mi poga roni bali teso ejari. Inera ngesi keda pipi na tau kenge. Babi ita beite. Adanya dah nyuruh turut asyik tesok. Nyesel buntu rulo lomis sini. Mungkin ada buntu orang yang kampai arah mau putin. Kunyah buntu yang si. Hanya nak kerana jiru nak ego kerana ni tesok be. Abe itu. Ijaya nyesel gue kerana tu makin turun kerana balik tesok. So nyesel balik arah nyesel be. Enam ribu jadi tu nyesel radio. Kunyah beri nyesel dolar arah square. Nyesel lebih kupete kerana lebih jaya sih muda. Aduh tu mabu sih nyesel datang kerana pupu. Ekiener. So yang lama datang kerana jaya king. Amtah yang menjadi tu wujud kumanda. Presiden dua nayar mukopat tuh. Eya mokoba mako doki, me uro pore chulo jo. Wano winyo kopu gogeo, buliera, timere. Kwa utuno kare me yere, winyo jo yambe. A aro kino yaro chulo doke un, aro chulo doke un. Mano bedo wer, mote were no jo. Yas mano tuko we wan, inga ngala wano udo votes wan. Ka yero kutiek, yara udo beko, me chuligo, lika tie. Sana tea mune jati winyo wako, tia winyo kopu gogeo gya matea, mo bedo gya matemi. No bedo gya me tuko arama be. A tea mokopu go, ilito, bala ngu kumamu. Atewe wino kwa yamu kwa dole tole ametuko walobino kana rapiniero rapilel lobino yamu kwa 
atia makowani jo kuno mkere jo teso lerere ili jo nwa nme teso apo yo lerere jo atia kwa kuno wujiri kwa me prezo da yamo kwa daro yamo jo atuero otika ya netie kere tu nosa ame goe simu goe penji ya mimito penji apo yo sana We know for sure that um, in Uganda there is a pressing issue that is actually affecting uh, very many people, uh, and that is the issue of corruption uh, in this country. I remember uh, uh, during our uh, the working the tenth conference of the NRM, yeah. that one was one of uh, the, the issues that we want to tackle. But um, uh, it seems like it is one of the, the issues that is giving the 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 government. I don't know as a, a national unity platform, how are you prepared? Thank you. <laughs> I like that you mentioned that corruption was one of the uh, issues uh, NRM promised to deal with. Yes. Maybe we just didn't understand that. Maybe they promised that they would be the most corrupt people and they would win the award for co most corrupt mm -hmm. government in Africa. Mm -hmm. And I believe they live to their uh, promise. But on a serious note, we intend to be the direct opposite of NRM. And that we are not only doing it, we are not only promising to do it when we take power. Because the things that we believe in, we practice even during the struggle, even before we get power. I have warned everybody under my leadership that you touch taxpayers' money, your hand will not leave that bank. And we have demonstrated it. You have seen that uh, the NRM, their currency, their exchange module is corruption. They hook the leaders with corruption so that those leaders can't stay, uh, say truth to power. But also, corruption is their exchange. Now, by so doing, they've been able to compromise so many corrupt-minded leaders even within our rank and file. You noticed a little while, a short while ago, that one of our high-ranking uh, comrades, the deputy president of the National Unity Platform in charge of Uganda region, was caught in the corruption scandal and we demonstrated exactly what we shall do when we are in power so there's no negotiation with corruption there's no shortcut with corruption we have to uphold our integrity because we know corruption is the cancer that has destroyed this our country and we have to deal with it firmly just like we've demonstrated during the struggle okay yeah thanks so much Yeah, but as the calls come in, maybe I'll stop talking uh, when a call comes in. I want to make use of this second, these seconds before uh, the call comes in. There are many issues that we've not talked about here on radio. Maybe we'll get time to talk about them uh, at the event where we're going. But we acknowledge that there's rampant unemployment among the youth here. And yet, in our manifesto of 2021, we indicated it that if we uplift agriculture, just imagine if those uh, lead machines did not get disappeared by this regime. Just imagine if the cotton industry was not destroyed by this regime. Just imagine if the fruit industry is facilitated and empowered. How many young people would it be uh, employing? Yeah. A lot of them. Unfortunately, we don't have that because the regime in power does not care. I won't uh, undermine the issue of insecurity here in Tesla. That is a matter that hinders not only corrupt uh, uh, development, but it hinders many other aspects of life. I think that is uh, an area we have to deal with. I have not talked about land grabbing, but you know the chief priest of land grab, that is Museveni and his family, those people came to Uganda with zero inches of land. Uh, you don't know where they came from. By the gun is a citizen, but even during the days of President Obote, President Obote challenged him. To prove, he could not prove that. I challenged him in 2021. I still challenge him to prove that he's a Ugandan. And I'm not in any way being discriminatory to those that, I mean, I have so many friends that became uh, citizens of Uganda by neutral, by 
naturalization. But I will tell you that you can only tell a Ugandan by the way they love Uganda. And Uganda is not the land or the trees. Uganda is the people. Look, <coughs> excuse me. Look at how the man is treating Ugandans. Look at how the man is underdeveloping our country. Look at how the man is destroying every single sector in this country. Can you really say Museven is a Ugandan? That's a question for you. Let's take the call. Thank you. Now, uh, at again, number is in the middle of the day. I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to say